Change Park. Um, I'm hoping that you're enjoying these life skill videos. Today we're going to do cleaning a kitchen floor, which is wood, and then we're, um, we're also going to clean a tiled floor. So what you will need is you'll need some cleaning stuff. Um, I like this because it smells really nice, but you can have all lots of different ones, whatever people use at home. You're going to need a bucket with a drainer. And you're going to need a mop. So first of all, you would sweep your floor. I've already done that, so I've swept the floor and the floor's all, all clean. So you'll put your bucket into the sink and then you'll put hot water. You can have warm water, but hot water is better for cleaning, clearing, getting rid of germs. So you put your hot water in and you only half fill it. You only would only half fill it. Can you see that? That's about enough. Only put in enough that you can carry. So some people find carrying these water buckets very heavy. So then I'll pour the liquid into the cap, and that is one measure of, of disinfectant floor cleaner. Try not to get it onto your hands, and if you do, wash your hands straight away. Do not put them in your mouth. Right, so we're going to take the bucket and the mop through to the hole. Put your bucket down. And this is only a small area, so you probably wouldn't need to. And you've just got to make sure that the mop is totally wet, so all the water dripping off of it. And then you put it into the drainer and you keep turning it, turning it, and that's rinsing all the water out. And then you mop, you mop from the furthest place away so you don't have to tread in it. Some of you have probably done this in school, maybe in the, in the food tech room. Move your bucket. And that's that tiled floor done. So we'll go back into the kitchen. So you would always start away from the door so that you've got somewhere to go to, otherwise you're going to run out of space. So I'm going to start near the back door. I'm going to start over here. work my way across try not to block yourself in you come round here and go back and forth cleaning the floor and this is a kitchen floor so it has a lot of walking on this and it's wood so you only have a little bit of water Drain it out again. And then you can do this side. So you try not to tread wherever it is you've cleaned already. Because it's a sunny day, it's going to dry really quickly. Put it in the water again. Drain it off. Floor, you only have to have a really little bit of water. And then you're at the door. Okay. See all the water dripping out. And then you do your last little bit.
and then your room's done. So I hope you have a go at that at home with your carer or your parent and uh, enjoy doing housework.